Hey guys, I'm Matty Hill and welcome to another Bendix Tech video. Today we're going to be delving into the world of EV powertrains. Now when it comes to EVs, there are quite a few different types. You've got battery electric vehicles, plug-in hybrids, hybrid electric vehicles, mild hybrids and fuel cell electric. As EV technology continues to evolve, we're starting to see more and more of each type. In this video, we'll be looking at the three most common types we see today. Starting off, we've got your traditional hybrid EV or parallel hybrid as they are sometimes called. We're talking cars like your modern Toyota hybrids. This type of EV utilizes both internal combustion engine and electric motor working in tandem. Traditional hybrids can generally run on either full petrol or full electric for a shorter amount of time. However, most of the time the car will be driven by a combination of the two and the batteries that they use are typically small in capacity, making them ideal for mixed running. Then you've got your plug-in hybrids. As the name suggests, the idea is to plug in and charge the battery when the car is parked. They work in a similar way to your traditional hybrids, but utilize larger batteries that can be charged to allow for an extended all electric driving range. This makes them perfect for short, zero emission trips around town. These plug-in hybrids are getting more and more common by the day, with more and more manufacturers coming out with the PHEV versions of their most popular models. Next, we have battery EVs, which are powered solely by an electric motor. These feature a much larger battery to provide optimum all-electric range. This is fast becoming the new standard for EVs, providing an absolute zero emissions driving solution. We've all seen how common Teslas are on the road. Now, one thing that these EV hybrids have in common is that they utilize regenerative braking. Put simply, regenerative braking is an EV's ability to convert kinetic energy into electric energy which is then used to recharge a vehicle's electric battery while it's being driven. Regenerative braking kicks in the moment you take your foot off the accelerator. As the car is deaccelerating, the wheels start to spin the electric motor's output shaft as opposed to the other way around. This in turn creates electricity to charge the battery, kind of like how an electrical generator works. You'll also find that regenerative braking slows the car down faster than normal deacceleration, meaning less wear on the vehicle's traditional braking components. You are also using your brakes far less in an EV hybrid than you would in a traditional car. However, on the flip side of that, this can also have long-term effects on your braking components. With the traditional braking components seeing less use lead to long-term issues such as corrosion or caliper seizing. Things like painted metal brake backing plates are prone to rust, and the heat from normal brake use helps them keep corrosion at bay. When they are not being used as often, corrosion can start setting in. This can lead to the backing plate sticking to the caliper and jamming against the rotor, which can not only wreak havoc on your rotors, but also your range as well. Some might say that brake servicing is rarely necessary when it comes to EV thanks to their regenerative braking systems, but this simply isn't the case. In fact, a yearly brake service is recommended to ensure that brake components aren't rusting together and that your brake fluid is serviceable. You need to be confident in an emergency braking situation where the brakes are functioning correctly. Using a brake pad specifically designed for hybrids and EVs can also help keep corrosion at bay. Bendix EV hybrid brake pads maintain a transfer film on the disc brake rotor, preventing corrosion and ensuring consistent braking in specific conditions. If you own a hybrid or an EV, be sure to keep an eye on your brakes and fit Bendix EV hybrid brake pads. For more info, visit www.bendix.com.au. Bendix, put your foot down with confidence.